we are still not through with shampoo. <laughs> I'm Genuine Nard, and this is everything I've learned about growing my natural type 4 hair. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and thanks. Okay, so in this shampoo series, I've been talking about the three main shampoos that I use. I use an African black soap shampoo most of the time. Once or twice a month, I will use a baking soda scrub. Um, to scrub my scalp and then I use Castile soap right and both of these the Castile soap um, and the baking soda baking soda you can get at Walmart this you can get at Walmart um, you can also get Castile soap on Amazon this 32 ounce will last me for a solid year and I also use it as bubble bath it is wonderful so these are the ingredients and then once a month um, I will use a healing clay to clarify because the clay is going to get all, it's like a face mask for your scalp and your hair. It's going to get all the dirt and debris that your cleansers missed. Okay, so we've talked about what to use, what to use. And people always ask me about products. Where do I buy them? What do I use? So the products are important. I'm not going to marginalize or minimize that. If you make it yourself, you will always do better than if you buy it from the store um, because every ingredient and every measurement is exactly custom to you and even the very best product lines cannot do that. So the next thing I want to talk about is how you touch your hair. The way that you wash your hair is as important if not more important than the way or than the products that you use. And now this is why I say that. It doesn't matter how good the product is if you're too rough with your hair. This next clip is gonna show you how to wash your hair gently and effectively. Dirt is sharp and its jagged little edges can cut your hair if you allow it to build up. And when too much dirt mixes with the oil of your scalp and the oil you're putting on your hair, it can clog your hair follicles, making it harder for your body to push hair out of your scalp, slowing your growth. And if you have buildup like this, it can also collect DHT hormones that can block hair growth altogether. So to avoid all of this drama, we wash your hair regularly. I do not skip wash days for nothing. I don't ever wash my hair until I've used a pre-poo. A pre-poo prepares your hair to get shampooed. It's usually some type of oil or some type of conditioner. This is my sweet potato pre-poo and it's so vital. I use a ton of products in my hair and it hardens over time. So this is going to break up that product and make my hair soft enough to be handled. Also, a pre-poo keeps your hair from getting high growth fatigue, which means it just absorbs way too much water in the shampoo process. So now I'm going to put this baggie over my head and give it some time to soften up those polymers and to let my hair absorb some of this delicious product so that it can handle being handled. Now, just a little time, about 30 minutes. If you're like me, you grew up watching these videos of women washing their hair like this, piling it on top of their head and letting the lather do its job. Now I've learned the lather isn't what cleans your hair and this friction is causing more harm than good. So now I section my hair before I wash it. So I've taken my plastic cap off and you can see all of that dirt, product, the sebum, the oil, it has all been lifted so my hair is easier to clean. And I use my fingers to gently detangle my hair. I love these clips. They hold my hair in place without causing any damage because it's one single piece. You can buy these at most beauty supply stores. Then the bigger the clip, the better. And 
I'm just holding it in place so that I can wash it in sections. This is a great way to keep your hair safe and fairly protected during the friction causing process of shampooing. Your hair is usually most vulnerable when it is wet. So I take my time, my last section, and now I'm ready to get in some water. Now we're gonna get through this shampoo. First thing I do is take a clip out of the section and I bend my head down so that the water will do most of the work. You wanna saturate your hair, but I let it fall in the natural direction. And then I squeeze using the palms of my hands, almost like a milking motion, to let the water run from the root of my head to the tips of my hair. Now that my hair is saturated, it's time to add my shampoo. I love this shampoo. I'll show you how to make it. And it is delicious ingredients that feel amazing and work. So I make sure that I use the tip of the nozzle to get the shampoo right on my scalp. And then I use just the pads of my fingers, not my fingernails just the pads of my fingers and there's that squeezing motion pushing all of that product down to the ends of my hair now if my hair is needing a massage i use my great little massage pedal and i'll show you this i got it for a dollar at the dollar store and i bought like 20 of them and gave them to so many of my girlfriends who are on this journey with me. This massages my scalp like nobody's business, but it's gentle. It's one piece of silicone, so there's no jagged edges that could sharpen and cut my hair or scalp. And now once that is completely clean, I'm gonna work that product all the way to the ends of my hair and let the water finish the cleansing process so nothing's getting caught because it is rinsing in a downward motion which is the natural flow of the water and the natural flow of your hair i am trying very hard not to drown in this video <laughs> so i like to end my shampoos with a splash of acid this is apple cider vinegar that has been infused and this one has rosemary. Your hair loves a good, strong, acidic pH. And so after shampooing my hair, I will add that pH so that it is balanced. And now I just clip this section up and we're going to finish all the other sections until my hair is completely clean. Now, once I have completed my shower and my hair has been completely saturated, I just give it a good water rinse. And this is completely filtered water. It filters out hard water deposits as well as chlorine so that I know my hair is getting all the benefits of this good, healthy water rinse. And you can see that the color of my hair has actually changed because all of that sweet potato pre-poo is out. And that is all there is to it. Okay, and really that's all there is to washing your hair. I hope that this highlight footage, right, is going to give you more detail than in the African black soap video that I did before. And really your hair is so vulnerable on wash days. So it's the, it's sort of like you, I treat it like I'm taking my hair into surgery, right? So you have to prep your hair for surgery and then you have to use very gentle touching methods so that you don't damage your hair on the few days of the week that it is not in a protective style. I actually know so many ladies who actually just wash their hair in twists, locks and braids 
in their protective style so that they don't damage their hair. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, it's really better than nothing. I don't know if it's the best way to get your hair super clean, but then your hair may not even need to get super clean. So you really know your hair, what it needs. This is just an overview. I don't want you to feel like this is your absolute rule guideline because as you get into your routine, you're going to hopefully try some of the techniques that I have suggested. And some of them are going to work fabulous for you and some of them are not. These are the things that I have done to grow my hair from that long to past my armpits now. You'll just have to trust me. <laughs> Keep watching videos and you'll see that my hair has grown longer than it has ever been in my life using these techniques. Okay, so I hope that you can feel my support. I'm sending you support through the internet. I hope you feel like you have a friend on the internet that's somebody who is really trying to support your goal of growing your hair and growing your whole life. If you have not already subscribed, subscribe to the tribe by that little scrolling thing rolling across your screen now. <laughs> and please let me know who you are in the comments, right? So let me know who you are. Send me pictures of a before and after. Give me 30 days of a good cleansing schedule and a good nighttime routine and watch your hair transform because of good care. And that's it. Um, I'm 100% with you. And I thank you for your time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me how it turned out for you in the comments. Click like, subscribe and ring that bell for all the videos in this playlist. Or just view these next two. And thank you again for watching. Alright, that's it. <laughs>